What's up guys, Emo here. Today I'm here to show you um, how to do the expert mission called Extreme Malice in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. After numerous attempts last night, I finally got the mission done. Um, no lie, I'm not gonna lie to you guys one bit, this thing took me at least well over 7 hours to do. Um, it was an absolute nightmare, I'm just here to help you guys out. So um, anyway, without further ado, um, let's get right into it. First and foremost, I highly advise you guys do this mission offline. I know you guys are going to be like, why offline? Um, well, anyway, this game is broken to death with glitches. I'm talking about it's an absolute shitstorm with glitches. Um, for example, you can't push back um, some of the key, giant key blasts that the enemies send you. Um, here, let me just show you a clip. It's easier if I show you than explain to you. Like, it's, an, it's atrocious. That's my best explanation for it. Yep, here's a reduction. Also, I'm not really sure what we have to do with these things in the moment. I'm dead. We were all dead. I, I, I have to look it up. I have to look it up right now. <sighs> yeah, online those things can take like just about 600 soul punishers and final Kamehameha's and it just will not care. Um, however, if you do it offline, the blast usually goes back within like two of those blasts. On top of that too, the enemy's health I've noticed is smaller. Um, I don't know if it's really that big of a deal, but it is smaller. Um, I feel like they take more damage than they should be, but that just could be me last night suffering from sleep deprivation. And I'm telling you, man, this thing was an absolute nightmare. Alright, the next thing you want to worry about is your loadout. Um, first and foremost, obviously your character, who you choose, which really depends on how your playstyle is going to go down. For me, the first character I chose was the same because, you know, stands are ballers. Right now on screen is obviously my build and whatnot for my saying yeah it's it's decent I guess but um for this for these this specific expert missions I highly advise you guys have an absurd amount of key blasts because these guys are like in the matrix they just dodge everything and they just do not care whatsoever. The next thing you want to worry about is obviously your equipment on screen right now I'm showing you like what clothes and stuff I have. Um, I chose Beerus's clothes because of the um the key blast um boost or whatever that really helps out because once as I stated before these guys they just dodge everything ex like especially your moves unless you have God of Destruction um I think Wrath or Anger I forgot which one it's the one that shoots out like a beam from your finger or whatever um but I'll get into the the super attacks later anyway yeah so Beerus's clothes are probably the best for this I don't have any QQ bangs because I'm not really familiar on what to do with those things but I'll get to those later and Tapion sword because Tapion's a goon all right the next thing is super attacks this is what really matters the most because you're going to be spamming these the most so I highly advise you either get super destructor disc or destructor disc it doesn't really matter I got super destructor disc because it's bigger so I got more of a range to work with uh, maximum charge because you need to charge your key um super guard just in case to do the chainsaw blade move and the um like the blue orbs i call them the blue orbs of death you're gonna see why you're gonna need super guard layer i will tell you um and perfect shot from cell you get you get that from doing cells training but perfect shot it helps out a lot because you can um, combo from the destructo disc which stuns them and then just shoot the perfect shot and you're good to go the destructo disc is really important because um you need to what's that thing called um stun it, it helps stun out a lot um as for ultimate moves you can either use final kamehameha or Soul Punisher, choose between one of those two. Um, sending back the giant Key Blast Supers. 
and either Giant Storm or Super Kamehameha. I recommend Giant Storm because um, of healing. So if you're healing somebody, you can just use a ninja to straight up obliterate them. But Super Kamehameha works just as well. Um, you guys might think, oh, why not um, use Supernova? Supernova. Um, it could help. I tried it, but only online. But I'd say before, do this offline. Unless you have an absurd amount of key, um, I wouldn't advise it. It takes too much time if you ask me. So just stay away from Supernova. Okay, for the actual walkthrough for this mission, the tips I want to give you is, um, obviously this game is full of glitches, um, but there's actually one glitch that actually helps you out a lot. Um, I've noticed that if you don't lock onto the enemy, the enemy won't hit you. I don't know why that is the case, but that's just the way things are. So if you find yourself like in a sticky situation where you're by yourself and everyone else is dead, just go heal them and they won't even like hit you at all. Just don't look at the enemy whatsoever. Just like Medusa, don't look into the eyes. Um, for Broly, Omega Shenron, and Kid Buu, the game plan is just to spam destructo disc and perfect shot like for life depends on it. Um, if they decide to like throw a giant blast your way, just send it back with the um, so final coming home how or Soul Punisher. They should send it back without any worries because once again offline is easier. Um, that's pretty much the game plan. But however, when those razor blades come out, you have one of four options. You can either Super Guard, which I recommend, banish teleport all over the place. Um, they usually like um they don't catch you in time as long as you're spamming it correctly and time it well um you can use your evasive attack if you have enough stamina if you don't then you could probably use it once and take just about half the damage and then the very last option is obviously just to take it like a man um that's if you have enough health but i don't recommend you do that as for after once you're done with kid boo which is in my opinion the most annoying um you gotta deal with frieza this one's a bit tricky you gotta start off the same way like you did with the previous guys, but this time maintain some distance until you get about one and a half or two bars of health down. Around this point, it's pretty much, I'm not gonna lie to you, a guessing game. Um, just keep chucking um, disc at him. Eventually, he might do the blue orbs of death move on you. And if it does happen, I cannot stress this enough. Super guard, like your life, depends on it. Like, I cannot stress that enough. Um, cause those things will pretty much immediately kill you. It will kill your, um, the AI companions you have for sure. So once they're dead and you still have the super guard up, just go heal them and then you should be good to go. Um, as for Janemba, it's pretty much the same thing as Frieza. Keep your distance, throw destructor disc, perfect shot, use super guard as needed and you should be alright. Once he pushes you back, like, into different dimensions or whatever, just come back and beat whoever that heck is on the other side and use the teleporter to get back for me i didn't have to use the teleporter i don't know why um but just go back and just body janemba and you should be fine um as for mira not for me i didn't have to fight mira but um from what i heard from other people like my brother he just said pretty much play the numbers game and he did it um and just make sure everyone's alive keep distance but i can't really vouch for that one at all um as and that's pretty much that for that um, last thoughts, um, pretty much just keep your spirit up, because this mission's an absolute nightmare, no lie, I think I got bodied about 60 times before I finished this mission, I honestly put this in the same league as Nightmare Train and Taken 6, or runs the first Vicar in, um, Bloodborne, it could actually be harder, um, if you're going for the Platinum Mythicus game, it's pretty much the make it or break it mission for you, so you better go accordingly and just try your best. Anyway, I'll just leave this video here for you guys to watch um, at your own pace or whatever. Just take whatever you want from it. Um, anyway, until next time, I'll catch you later. If you have any questions, just reach me on PSN emor 77 Just put something in the comment section, and hopefully I'll get to you. Any other than that, see ya.
Let's go. We already got half of Frieza's life down and we still have seven minutes left. No, no, no. Oh, thank God. Yo, man, we should be Gucci. We still got four minutes left, and we're, we already got halfway of Janemba's life down. Come on, guys, let's go. Let's go. This is the run. If we beat him, we get three minutes. I know. The, the, you know Mira's fucking done with that. I'm not gonna lock onto him. I'm just gonna charge my key up. The thing is, if I go right next no. to him, and like, and like, I'm not even locked onto him, I, I can still do my own um, giant storm. And then he takes damage and I'm just chilling. As long as he nah damn it. somebody locked on to him. Fuck. Don't take mirror lane. Yeah.
Let's go, guys. Okay, take take care of your number. Let's go. I'm, I'm just here to throw the destructor with this left and right, boy. Cause when I, when I throw the destructor, this he gets stunned and everybody just straight up melee jumps the fuck out. Not taking risks, boy. Let's go, come on. We still got two minutes left. Does Mirror do anything like slick with like the balls and shit or what? Or does he? No. So he, 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 he's just normal? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Alright, no. Yeah, he, he's normal as besides from the fact like I think he'll do he like, world okay. the... he, he didn't send me to a different dimension. He sent the others. I stayed. Ultimate finish, we're done. We beat it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's yeah. it. Good. Keep concentrating on your training. But there was no mirror? No, no mirror. What the fuck? Let's go. Let's go. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs>